good morning guys today is tuesday i think i'm going to be vlogging throughout the week this week um monday i would have started but i was pretty much editing all day finishing up a tutorial today i'm actually going to be working on adding a lot of detail to our little tree monster this was a commission and i know he's huge he's supposed to be about three feet um if you guys are curious i'm about five feet so <laughs> he's pretty large but I'm going to try and get some painting done on him and adding a bunch of features because we want to add crystals, mushrooms, a bunch of leaves and vines and stuff. So there's a lot we got to add to him. Also, he's going to have these really bushy eyebrows that kind of drape down to the side along with a really thick beard. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I think the beard and stuff is going to be last because it'll be in the way while working on everything else. But yeah, just a quick update on what I've been doing because I haven't vlogged in a while. Uh, the video I was working on was for the Watcher Fox. It is already done. The tutorial should definitely be up by now. Um, there's no way I'm editing down this vlog beforehand. So that tutorial should be up. You guys can check it out if you want. This one does miss a little bit of footage of how I put the Watcher together, but it's not too bad. I think I did a decent job of editing around it. And then I'm working on a little plush project that I think will be a lot of fun. Hopefully I can try something different with it. It's a simple project. And I spent like an hour waiting for footage to render and uh, flipping out the little legs for it. So it's a little bug and I made like 14 legs, two antennae, and I spent like basically two hours flipping these right side out. I don't think I'm going to stuff them because they're kind of thin, but I do think I'll put some wires in them because I made a test creature. Actually, you know what? Let me go get it. I'll show you. So usually I don't make test creatures, but I was just trying to relax and enjoy myself. So I ended up making this little roly poly, or you guys might call them pill bugs or something. I don't know. They're called a bunch of different names. I usually call them roly polies, but I made this little guy and I have all his legs, but they're a little wiggly. So I do think the newer one for the tutorial will have wires in them. And then he's got a wire frame so I can kind of squish him. Uh, that works really well. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to change on him is the little things on the back. There's too many of them. It feels a little bit messy. So I'm going to do that a little bit differently. But yeah, I'm working on a little tutorial for that and just something fun with the pattern. Um, we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, let me get all my stuff out and we can start painting our tree creature. I am doing a tutorial on it, so I can't do a lot during the vlog. But, like, some of the touch-ups and stuff I'll definitely record. I'm really low on black and white paint. I've got a bunch ordered, but we'll have to work with what we got. Oh, you guys are probably wondering what I'm wearing. I know, it's so bright. Like, see, I actually drew this. This was something my mom was giving Michael, and he was like, that's too bright to even be outside in the dark with. So I was like, I'll take it. And I was watching a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air over on HBO, and I was like, that's the perfect color. So I scribbled this on it real quick. But yeah, just a really baggy hoodie, just something nice and comfy to wear. I think I'm going to work on the shadowy bits first. Because so if I get paint on myself, it's going to be black or silver right now. It's kind of getting into the little cracks. Let's start with the hole. We're going to actually put some um, little forest looking dudes in here. Uh, kind of like the little creatures from Princess Mononoke. I put like a few in here kind of glowing. I think I can use some glow better paint on them. Kind of difficult to paint and it's just so large. But I think it'll be really cool when we're done with him. I think, I, I mean I've done like plant type creatures before, but I haven't done a tree creature. So I was really excited that they wanted me to do this for commission. Oh, another little update. Um, I have ordered a bunch of silicone. I've got like a gallon of it coming. I spent a, a lot of money on it. <laughs> but I'm finally going to make a bunch of molds and start like putting out like tinier like little projects and stuff like that. And I can't wait to try it out. But yeah, I am so excited. Uh, again, I've got to sculpt everything first. I've got a few things that I think I'll mold, but I want to do it smart because I see on here that it says has a limited shelf life. I'll have to Google it and see like how limited that is. I know like once it's mixed, it'll harden, but 
like once I open these, how long do I have is my big question. I still need to probably order more resin, but I'm debating on if I want to try a new kind or not. I mean, the bottles that I got last time were like maybe 50 bucks or something, and I'm still going through them, and I think I've had them. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've had them for like over a year. They're getting old. I actually need to just kind of go through them and get and like use them up as fast as I can. But I want to kind of get an idea of like how much resin I'm going to end up going through with the making of molds. So yeah, because either I'll buy the ones that I have or I'll buy like a larger version of it if I'm going through it a lot. So I'll kind of just about that. So I just cleaned the balcony the other day and I already have pigeons wanting to poop on it. <laughs> oh, it looks so much better. I decided to open the window and it's really sunny out so like it's not like a giant dark cave right now. Oh, I finally decided to actually customize my screens. These are some of my digital art. I actually went in and changed the background of this one so I could actually use it because um, it didn't have a background so I just added some extra bubbles and this one's cropped weird. I might change it, but I still kind of like it the way it is. But yeah, what I'm going to do next is probably get all the footage off of my camera. If you guys are wondering, I'm not using the SD card reader anymore. Um, doing that on the computer just keeps corrupting my files. So what I've been doing is I've been adding the camera to the Wi-Fi and just switching everything over using the Wi-Fi instead of using the card. So I haven't had any issues with it that way. Um, I had a little problem with the software for the camera. Um, it was acting a little goofy, but I finally figured out what to do by watching the little tutorial, so it wasn't a big deal. But yeah, we haven't had any more corrupted files. I'm happy about that. Um, I still have a few videos that might be missing things here and there because of past corruptions. But moving on, we should be nice and smooth for now. Anyways, I'm going to turn the camera off because I need to use it to get the video files on the computer and then I think I'm going to switch everything over so I can use my tablet and start drawing. Oh, so I don't know if I'll have this on today's video, but I made a new opening screen and I've been messing around with trying to add a little animation. Basically I'm going to have some little dots of light just kind of flicker, kind of like fireflies. And I'm just messing around with that. I'm not completely happy with how fast they're flickering because I don't want them to be like all like voo, voo, voo. I want them to be just kind of like voo little sparkles here and there just really light and soft and nowhere near as fast as my hand is moving because I realize my hand is moving really fast but yeah I have this for the tutorials and then I'm gonna have another one for the vlogs which I've been working on and I'm gonna start that here in a bit okay so it's the next day and I've got our tree creature all painted up I really like all the different colors I've got on him I think he looks a lot better than he did before He's still kind of silvery, but he doesn't look like stone. He looks more wood-like now. And what I'm doing right now is I'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up because I'm going to add a bunch of little mushrooms on his body in just different places. I'm thinking like a little here, maybe some on his hip, and then just a tiny bit up here. I was originally going to use my 3D fabric paints to connect these mushrooms onto the body, but they're just a little bit too heavy. I really didn't think they would be too heavy, but they are. So I'm going to glue them in place with my hot glue gun first, and then I'll add the uh, 3D paints around the seams and just kind of clean up the edges and add some texture around them. So today, it's a bit later than normal when I start vlogging, mainly because I had just so many little things to do and I just didn't want to bother with filming the extra bits because I was filming for tutorials and it's, it's just a little bit of a pain to film a vlog and a tutorial at the same time because I've got to jump back and forth between the two. Eventually, I'll get a new camera and this camera can be my vlogging camera and we'll get a nicer one for the tutorials, but in the meantime, it's the only camera I have. But anyways, I've been spending the day mainly working on clay pieces, painting, just a little bit of everything. I'm finally done with everything. I'm needing to put something in the oven real quick and get that baking and then I'm going to go into the back room and start working on some drawing. So I need to move everything out of the way. I think I need to wipe everything down because of the clay and then I'm gonna put everything away real quick. Yeah, I was just trying to take it easy today. Uh, sculpting most of the time, have my 
tablet over here. I need to clean the screen too because I kept getting like clay greasy fingers all over it. Oh, so I was trying to get these done, but I've just not been in the mood to work on clay. So I did as much as I could get myself to do. I just got the little toes right now. This is going to be for a lemur, kind of a fantasy type lemur. And wanted the toes to be kind of a little bit more alien-like. So I made them really fat and chubby. With this one, I've started the project a long time ago. So I've been having the fabric sitting over here for this piece forever. And I'm finally starting to do a little bit more with it. And then I've got some foil ready to be turned into some clay heads. Uh, I got these little guys drying. These are, you probably know what these are if you've seen Princess Mononoke, but I'm making a few of these to go on the tree. It's really not wanting to focus on them because they're so tiny. <laughs> but they are drying, not because they're covered in resin, but I have glow-in-the-dark paint on them and they're taking a while to actually dry because I decided to use my 3D glow-in-the-dark paint because it glows better than my other glow-in-the-dark paint and it takes a lot longer to dry. So they're sitting right there. They'll probably be ready for me to finish up tomorrow. And then I finally have the painting. Oh, finally have the painting done on our tree commission. I added a bunch of mushrooms all over him. Um, still need to add a few other things. The little spirit dudes are going to go in that hole and then we're going to work on covering the branches in a bunch of moss and leaves. But he's coming along really good. I'm so happy with him. Oh, and I cut out fabric for another dragon piece that I want to do, but that one we're not going to start for quite a while. Okay, so this is what I've been working on. I think I showed you guys the intro piece for my tutorials I've been working on, but I wanted to do one for the vlog, so I kind of just uh, did this cute little dragon. I really like how his eye came out. Just holding a camera. Oh, I zoomed way too out. But yeah, I've been slowly adding more and more details to him. His head it's something really nice about it, but also it's not connected to the body so nicely. So I think I need to do something here. And then of course the background. I'm pretty happy with the camera. Um, it could be a little bit more three dimensional, but I still like it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna work on this today. I'm kind of stuck. So I think I'm gonna start a new project. I think I just kind of want to do something different. I don't know. Do I want to do a dragon? I'm just kind of scribbling until I decide what I want. I'm feeling a dragon, just not sure what yet. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I've been messing around with the different types of brushes and I went with something that's a little bit more sketchy and I really like how it looks. Plus I tried out some of the markers for the shading. So I think it looks pretty good. Again, I'm still kind of experimenting, but I do like these brushes and I might use them more. Still trying out everything, trying to figure out what I like, but I'm, I'm really liking this so far. Okay, so basically what I'm working on right now is trying to finish up my little roly-poly. So I have him all put together pretty much other than his little face. So I have some little pieces of fabric and I'm just going to make a tiny little head right here. I don't have to do it, but I figured it'd add a little bit more detail and it looks a little flat here. Legs are everywhere. I started on making a little wire frame for him and I just kind of have a little loop that I put together and covered up the seam with hot glue so it wouldn't get caught on the fabric. So yeah, today I'm gonna to be finishing up this little guy. I was supposed to finish up the tree creature, but here, I'll grab him real quick. Pretty much, I was trying to finish up the fingers and I wanted to make them look a little thicker and more elongated. Also, they didn't need to be super sharp, so the ends are made out of felt so they won't poke you or anything. And I needed to build up the thickness with my 3D fabric paints and the only color I had was white. <laughs> so it looks like he's been playing in toothpaste. But I'm waiting for this to dry. I'm going to paint that and finish it. And I don't want to bump it because the only thing I have left is adding all the greenness to the very top. So 
I'm gonna wait till that dries. I might be able to work on it today, but it'll probably be finished up tomorrow. I have a lot of editing to get done, so I'll probably have to start on that pretty soon. I actually have a few videos basically, well, not ready, but like the content is ready and I just need to do editing, so once I finish up the few commissions that I have, I'll probably have like a week of editing. And then what I want to try and do is I want to have a week of oil painting because I haven't touched my oils in a very long time. Um, I started prepping up another piece that I've been wanting to start really, really bad. It's a huge piece. It's actually so big I have nowhere to put it, so I've been leaving it hung up on the wall. But yeah, I really want to do a week of oil painting. I think it'll be a bit boring to vlog, but that's probably fine. I'll probably be caught up on videos by then, so I won't really have to worry about vlogging too, too much. And just kind of relax. Um, I'm almost done with one commission, and then I have another one that I started, and I shouldn't have another one for a while. So, caught up on videos and different things like that. Uh, not the editing, obviously, so. Um, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I have a video for an oil painting, which is really cool. I'm extremely happy with how this came out. It's a painting of Axel, and it actually came out really, really detailed, so I'm super happy with that. Here's my scissors. I'll just use these ones. Um, I've got the tree creature, of course. This little roly-poly is almost done, so that counts. The vlog that I'm currently working on I can't remember. I feel like there's another one. I could be wrong, but I don't know. But yeah, a lot of videos that I'll be editing next week. We'll see. I've been getting a little bit faster at editing. Not amazingly fast, but I found like a rhythm that's starting to work. And it's like the opposite of how I used to edit. So it's, it's a little different, obviously, but it kind of feels the same too. Still kind of forgetting how to do certain things in the editing software, so I have to constantly like how do you do this? And re-Google it, even though I've done it before. Because I just haven't, like, saved it to memory. <laughs> okay, so today I have a ton of clay to work on. I just finished two of the feet out of uh, four for one of the creatures, and then I have, like, four more, and then two more heads. I'm trying to get the feet done first because uh, they, they get boring because you make so many of them. It's very repetitive, and I hate it. <laughs> I don't, I don't hate it, I just, um, I can't keep my attention on it, so I'm just going to try and force myself to get that all done, and then we'll start on the faces. Also, I'm still not sure what I'm wanting to do with the faces. So right now I'm making just a bunch of little bits of clay for some scales. I've already got the bottoms of the feet all done and everything, and I'm just making the tops and all the scale decoration. Okay, it's been a long past two days because it took longer for me to get these done than I thought, but I have both of the clay pieces done for our lemur and our monster hunter creature. So you guys could probably guess which one I'm doing from the head, but he's nowhere near being done right now, so I figured I'd give a little sneak peek. But yeah, these guys took forever. I am really happy with the lemur feet though. Like, these came out really good. I love his little toes, and I did exaggerate him a little bit, because we are kind of making him into an alien. Oh, and I also have a big pile of fabric over here, and the main reason for this is my fabric closet is a little bit um, full right now, so I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. I'm kind of debating on, like, moving all my paint stuff, because eventually I do plan on moving it and then putting all of this over there but I'm not sure yet. I should probably just pull everything out. I love this fabric. But I should probably just pull everything out and try and organize it and see if I can just leave it in there because that would make it so much easier than having it out here. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna call the vlog finished. I think I've got enough footage for it to be decently long. I've actually been filming between like one and a half to almost two weeks for this vlog, just kind of here and there because I've been so busy that a lot of it I just haven't been able to film. So it's been a longer time period than I planned on vlogging, but yeah. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!